What's up everyone? PG Gifted here from Phase Gaming TGN. Today is obviously a huge day for the COD community. MW3 just came out and uh it's it seems like every single person has posted a video so far. I haven't had the chance to watch all the commentators' videos that I like, but because it's just been so hectic playing and all that, but I probably will soon. But um before I get into my first impressions, I wanted to talk about my hectic day today with a cod so originally i wanted to go to the midnight release but my parents did not let me and then i did they did not let me skip school either so i rushed home from school at 3 p.m because i had to stay after for, for some history thing and uh i was so pumped to play it and then i so i get home like so anxious all day not being able to focus in school because of it and i got finally get to play it and my first impression was that the game was awesome. I thought it was going to be the best game I've ever played. And then it, as it turns out, I stop. I I don't really know at this point what I, my opinions are of it. So before I go into more details on MW3, I just want to so you got MW3 first impressions rather. This map is Carbon for those of you who do not know. This is the only, this is one of the only maps that I know the name of, that I know by name. And... Yeah, I'm using the scar. I believe my perks are quick draw, if that's what it's called, sleight of hand, and stalker, I believe. And so, yeah, now that you guys know my class setup and stuff, I'll go into first impressions. So, like Black Ops, I thought it was going to be unbelievable. What? I like Black Ops, I thought, I mean, unlike Black Ops, rather, I thought it was going to be amazing. Because I really liked Black Ops when it first came out. But then I stopped liking it after about a week or two, and the first. But when I first played Black Ops, I was in love with it. But this game is kind of a similar is on a similar path for me. I loved it my first couple games, and then as I was playing it, it was just something about it that was not that good. I've kind of tried to dissect dissect what possible things make it not that good for me at this point. But it's not like I haven't had fun playing it. But it's not been that fun and so i think the possible things are this i haven't really fallen in love with any map yet in mw2 i remember playing terminal for the first time and i'm like holy shit this map is awesome i had so much fun on it and that was the same with a couple other maps in the game high rise skid row but this i haven't really found a map that i've fallen in love with i like dome but it's not amazing this map's decent but it's not amazing so I think that could potentially be problematic long term in the game that the maps aren't that great. Of course there's the DLCs. Hopefully they'll bring back Terminal or High Rise or Skid Row. I'd like to see them do that like they did in MW2 to COD4 maps. If but who knows what they'll do for that. Another thing that a thing that I liked about the game was that they brought quick soaping back. I think that's genius and obvious uh, at the same time. By Infinity Ward, especially after the reviews Black Ops got without quick scooping. So I thought that was good of them to do. But I there's something about quick scooping that I'm not that good at it right now. Like, a, don't get me wrong, I'm not bad. I think it just could be so many triards in this game at this point that it's kind of hard to do well with the sniper. Because obviously it's one shot rather than when they get uh, automatic. So I think that could be it. But I've sniped a good amount. Uh, my KDR actually went down a lot from sniping. I started off with like a 2 KDR for, through the first couple games and stuff. And then I it I started sniping almost every game and it started to drop to like 1.3. But you know what? It, to me, KDR doesn't really matter that much. It doesn't really show how good you are to me. And also, if somebody doesn't want to think I'm good because my KDR is not good in COD, then I could really care less. So, uh, other than that, I kind of thought something cool is that... The care packages could blow up, but at the I don't really know how to do that th at this point. But at the same time, I think that is kind of annoying because then when you go to steal some, an enemy's care package, I don't unless there's a way I don't know about, you can't know if uh it's gonna blow up or not. So that's kind of bad in my opinion because it's just like all luck, and it would make me not want to take a care package. But uh oh, I like how they did the kill streaks, the support and assault kill streaks. I think that could kind of make people play more as a team if they have on the support kill streaks is they're 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 not trying to camp to get uh a lot of kills to build up their kill streaks 
but at the same but at the same time I found a lot of campers in this game so far so I don't know if the kill streaks go into that or what but that just could be the kids that are in COD but I'll talk more I'll post another video I'm PG gifted and I'm out have a nice day guys have fun playing